who was out. He said, you know who she was? A badass bitch. Okay. I, I didn't recognize the voice. Okay. Next. <sighs> Well, Plum's gone, like, so many times. She's just been sitting up here. Can I disconnect her if she's just allowed to just sit here? No, I I was trying to talk a few times, but people keep going in front of me. Yeah, Can I, I get I don't think she's actually got to, like, ask or say whatever she wanted. I think she just kind of was, like, you know, we heard her a couple of times and she just, like, jumped in with facts, you know what I mean? So, or questions, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm sure Kim, I can tell, is not feeling nothing tonight. So as soon as I bring up this name, she's probably going to drop me. But again, there's just pictures out there of emails that were sent asking for money. There's Hunter's mom was trying to get up here. You know, she has her side of the story. Again, it's just uh, uh, the question again is, well, how are all these people, you know, that are offering to help? They're not really helping or what is going on? and I mean, I'm, I've been up here plenty of times. I'm not going to bash on either one of you. I just don't understand, Lisa, what you get out of this. You know, people come up and say, all these people are doing are, are fucking bashing you. And you're like, yeah, I know. Why are you putting yourself through it? And yesterday you said Kim, you know, had asked you to do it. Is yeah, I mean, the first day. Yeah, she did, like, talk me into doing it. I didn't want to. But, um... It says she left. So she left and said that you ba what? Hold on a second. Why, when I go to my texts, do I keep getting? I'm here. I, I went to go check the texts, and it keeps throwing me down when I get off this screen. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Oh, my bad. I'm here. I didn't even mean to leave.
are we on intermission? Let me find out for y'all. Let me find out what's going on. Hold on one sec. Hey, Lisa, it's Amy. How are you? Hey, what's up? How are you? I'm, I'm all right. I'm here. <laughs> you know. If you still got my number, text me later. I want to talk to you. Did you um, ever text me on my new number I've had for like three weeks? Yeah. The, I don't think I don't think I have it. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'll I'll figure it out. I, yeah. I lost all my contacts and uh, you know, everything. Okay. So. We'll just email you that way to be here. Yeah, because I actually wanted to hit you and ask you how uh, your aunt was doing too, because. I haven't, like, you know, since I moved and stuff, I wanted to, like, ask about her if you talked to her or whatever, you know? Um, well, I really, I seen her a week ago. One of my aunt, my aunt Kim passed away, so Aww. I saw her at a funeral, so she was doing okay. Other than that, we really don't speak as much. We just talked a little bit at the funeral last Friday. Yeah, I seen her one time since I moved, um. You know, I went to go talk to Diesel right after I moved, and she was in there and talking to him. She's friends with his mom, you know what I mean, too. So, uh, yeah, yeah, well, to, you know yeah. what I mean. So, I'm wondering, yeah, we're we, we, I mean, we were close like growing up and stuff. I don't know if she really talked about me too much, but probably the last 10 years, I really haven't seen her. The last time I saw her was at my aunt's funeral last week. That's about it, pretty much. No, I did ask her. We were in Diesel's, and she was in there, and I said, you know, I had mentioned you right after the stuff came out when you said she, she was your aunt, and she was like, yeah, yeah, you know. She's like, I haven't seen her since. She called it something else, whatever funeral you had said. You had said, like, my grandpa, but she said, like, my brother or uncle, I forget, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. my grandpa, Jim, oh, yeah, so it's sad her. that our family's like that. We just, I don't know, I wish it wasn't like that, but, you know, how families sometimes just part, you know, they just don't talk to each other. There's plenty of family I don't talk to and haven't spoke to in a while. Absolutely. It's just, especially with a big family, you know? Oh, yeah. Our family's really, really big. So, well, listen, I'm going to jump down. I really pray, you know, eventually go to rehab and stuff. Do it for yourself. So I'm just going to keep praying for you, so. Thank you. All right. Get an answer on what's going on. Do we have to wait for permission from Kim or something? Is that what we're waiting on? I don't know. Look, I just want to know why or what Kim's been doing to help Lisa and all this. Since she's the only one that seems to can, you know, help her. That's what I want to know. What has she been doing? And what is this all for? This is not productive towards getting into rehab or anything. That's Those are just my questions.
Uh, can y'all get off the phone with each other and, you know, come back here? Just give them a second. They do this all day. Like, give them a break. Our glaze is gone. Hello, hello. Okay. It's working. There's going to be a brief intermission. It's like five minutes, guys. Did you say Lisa would be back in five minutes? Yeah, Lisa will be back in five minutes. Okay. Hey, Kim, I wanted to um, ask you something or talk to you uh, about something real quick, if you have a minute. Hey, Kim, the other day you said, um, I guess I seen on the internet that you just wish that Lisa had one fucking real friend in her life that would like support her and stuff and be there and not use her for clout or anything. I don't know if Lisa told you about me, but me and Lisa go way back before the internet and Lisa knows I'm there for her, but I, I won't give her money. And I told her the only right I will help her with is to rehab. So just so you know, Lisa does have people that or not using her like you know you think i don't know if lisa hasn't told you about me but lisa knows if she ever needed anything no money but if she ever needed a ride to rehab i would help her out just so you know she does have a, a friend but we haven't talked for a while though This is just a public service announcement for everybody who can't figure out how to drop down once they've gotten up here. There's a little person with a drop down arrow next to the mute button. All you have to do is hit that and it drops you.
Hey, Kim, can you let Nikki up her daughter? She wants to come up, she said. Okay, now that I have an opportunity to not get dropped for a second, Hunter's mom said that she has been calling and texting Lisa all day today. She has been ignored, blocked, and she's pissed off because she had everything set and ready to go, waiting on that confirmation. She never got it. Everybody's, er, Lisa's ignoring her, and so on and so forth. Every She will give all of the details if everyone wants to message her, but give her some time. She had some issues in her home, but she will respond. That's awful. When someone's trying to really genuinely help you with resources, you know. 100% agree. I mean, we all know that she wasn't being 100% truthful, but somebody who's been actively trying to get her help for months is now moved it and just kind of gets shit on. So it's kind of sad. Oh, it really is because at the end of the day, if you really want it, you're not going to keep driving it all and playing around. You're going to go that day when you're ready. Exactly. Fuck it, I'm just going to say it because I'm going to be blocked. I really feel like Kim is using Lisa to gain all the intention. And I really feel like she's holding Lisa back. I know Lisa's not generally ready, but I feel like Kim is the reason why she's never going to go. It doesn't take weeks and days. And look, if Tech and Villain has resources, Kim, I mean, Lisa would have been gone by now. I totally agree with you. Um, I mean, that's my question for Kim. So Kim had set up a rehab car to pick her up on a Saturday, and then it changed to a Monday, and then Lisa chickened out and didn't get in the car. So why did Kim not reset up that rehab? That is what's mind-boggling to me right now, and, and nobody can seem to answer it. It's really sad because I grew up with Lisa, and it's really sad to see an old friend like this on the internet. <laughs> a lot of people are saying that I give her money, which there was an Amy that gave her money, but I'm not the... I did give her money many years ago on Facebook for a pizza for her and Jay. This was like four or five years ago. And I think one time I hit like a gift or two on accident. But other than that, people think I give her money. There's a different Amy that gave her money. I would never give her money because I know that could be her last dollar. 100%. I'm never giving her jack shit and I never will. <laughs> Better. No, I, I appreciate that. And I, I know, I know I can do it. I just, I got to get my ass into the rehab, man. That's, that's the next thing. That's it. You know what I mean? That I'm 
Get your butt going. I mean, I mean, I know you're trying to like picky probably about where you want to go. I'm telling you, you got to go. I know your kids miss you. I trust me as a parent. I know it hurts you, but do it for yourself first and then do it for your kids. Yeah, it, it, it kills me more than people know it does. You know, on Halloween, I thought about you because I know you used to like take them trick or treating and I'm not trying to make you upset. But no. like, I really thought about you because this is the first year my son didn't want to go because he's 17. And that made me so sad because, like, you know, that's all yeah. I was one kid. And that hurt me. Like, now he's older now. And I don't want to see you keep missing out on those years. You know, you only get one childhood. No, I, I absolutely agree. And I don't know if Kim, you know, wants to come off my butt. Literally that day, I, you know, woke up. Like, I woke up and I was, I was smoking. I was crying. And I was like, you know, I'm just upset. I knew I was going to be a little upset today, but not this upset, you know. Because it is. Well, just, just try to do it. I know it's hard to get that first, you know, like put in the door. But once you take that, man, I'm telling you, you're going to feel so much better. Lisa, I'm telling you now, if you do good, I'm telling you down the road, I can get you a good paying job between 19 and $20 an hour. But first, you got to do the work. When you're ready and stable, I'm telling you, I can really help you get a job with me. Really? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, I'm making sure. All right, I got a phone call, my bad. Um, but uh, I said, yeah, this is the first year that I, you know, it killed me, man. I woke up crying, you know what I mean? Um, I I don't know. It's it's. I knew it was going to hurt, but I was, I was going to see how I react that day, you know? And it, it was pretty bad, man. Halloween was pretty rough. But it actually ended very well, to be honest. But it started off really rough, so to be fair. Well, just by next year, you're in a better place, and that way you can take them trick or treating. You got to start setting goals. And I hope you have. You been trying to set any goals for yourself? Yeah, and that absolutely is one of them, and that um is yeah one that I spoke about. Hopefully, rehab. Yeah, it's your first. I'm telling you, when you do good and you're ready, like everything i can help you if you want to work with me if not that's fine but it's going to take you time to get back where you need to be mentally and you know clean and ready oh i know and unfortunately i had to come to that realization i thought i could bounce back as soon as i wanted to and often that's just not the truth Can I ask you something? I don't want Kim to kick me. Um, everyone in the comment wants to know about Hunter's mom or something. I don't know the whole story about that. They're like spamming it in the chat. She wants to know if you, she can be unblocked, I guess. She's, uh, um, to be fair, I'm still trying to kind of figure that out behind the scenes. Uh, I got a screenshot okay. that, she left, that she left herself. It says user left. So to not say too much, I'm, I'm, I'm handling that, you know, privately as best I can. Okay. I just wanted okay. to ask, that's all. Yeah, I no, I... I the whole situation about, you know, whatever's going on with that. Yeah. I, yeah. I just want to say one quick thing. I am so tired of hearing people come up here and be like, oh, I have a place for you to go. I, you can go tomorrow or you can go right now, like if you're ready to go. Dude, I'm not trying to be rude, but clearly you're not ready yet. And that is 
fine. That is okay. When you're ready, you will walk through those doors. You have plenty of opportunities and you have been made aware of that. When you are ready to go under the right circumstances, because I understand how hard it is to find somebody to work with you when you're on methadone. Like when I was in and out of jail and shit like that, they didn't want to give me my methadone. When I was in and out of psych hospitals, I had to fight and fight and fight to get my methadone while I was there. Like I know how hard it is, but I just, these people need to leave you alone about rehab. It's it's not going to happen on anybody's time but yours. And people are getting upset at the fact that you're not going when that doesn't affect their life whatsoever. If you yeah, if, go... To- if I decide I'm not going, like, I promise I will come and be like, guys, I'm not going. And take the heat and just be done with it. Like, it honestly would have been, you know, a lot easier. But I just, you know, I'm trying to be, you know. No, I, I yeah, get you're, what they think, though. Just but six I, I get that, too. Be, because, like I said, I didn't, I've only been watching you for a couple months. I didn't know there had been, like you know, more or years or whatever, if that's even true. I don't even know if that's true. Like people are like, it's been going on for years, but I, I just app for like two years, but it got really bad. Like the past five months. I didn't, it wasn't like this. I would come on once a month or, you know what I mean? Like pop in. It wasn't every day, crazy shit. You know what I mean? Like this. So. I got you. Okay. Yeah. The, I got you. Yeah. yeah, but still, I just, I wish they would understand that it has no bearing on their life, whether or not you decide to go or not. And if you don't decide to go, like, I'm not trying to downplay hard. It is really hard to come off of because of the mental situation. And, yeah. and like... You will feel like a little bit of withdrawals, but it's all in your head. But crack is not something that I personally think people need to go to rehab for. That's been my attitude the whole time with this. You know what I mean? Honestly, that's my counselor's honest opinion. Um, I just don't know exactly what to do to make it stop then. You know what I mean? Like for good, right? right right i know i mean but you you're gonna i mean i need some help somewhere so yeah that, you need a sponsor yeah your self-control it's... only goes so far you know what i mean and then i want to fix like the underlying mental that goes with why like what i'm trying to numb with the crack and yeah it. why you're getting high in the first place yes that's you, what and i need that's... help with gonna yes. come from therapy a therapist like you know you might need yeah. a psychiatrist but those things yeah they might come along with rehab but you don't need exactly. to go detox you no, don't, I need, don't you don't need to go to a safe haven you're at your parents you are safe yeah. and what if you are still clean to this day what is it like day six five day five yeah yeah only five. i i just i don't know if if it was fetty if it was h any of those Opium. you know something yeah. like that um, I would, anything yeah would you good though my opinion i really think rehab would do you good for all of it get it all done in one thing all of it I don't know. I didn't when I stopped using and I was I used for I'm I'm 33 and I started using when I was 15 and I've been sober almost eight years and uh, I didn't get sober until I got a psychiatrist. I didn't get sober until I got on medication that was for the underlying reasons i never went to rehab like and then i did go 
I, I didn't, I never went to inpatient rehab. Let me, let me rephrase that. Right. Um, I did do an IOP program, but that was only because I wanted to be on Suboxone mm-hmm. and you had to complete the little like three month IOP class to get the Suboxone and stay right. on it. So you're already on a maintenance drug. You already uh-huh. see a counselor. Uh-huh. So I just feel like maybe maybe if you were to call and try and get a psychiatrist and see if you can talk to somebody, like, and get, like, I hate to say put you on more meds, but sometimes that's what you need for a little bit. I wish I had somebody, to, like I said, to diagnose why I act the way I do because my dad even said it really nice he was like um how do you say it he was like I was like I said this to him I'm like because I'm not normal you know what I mean he was like no you're not normal kiddo like he was being really nice but it's like what what is going on then you know what I mean right like I get it like what what makes it different for you that like this person, the next person can party, 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 but leave the party there. Yeah. And then you, you can't leave it. You have to bring it home with you. Well, even like, in like my normal life, like, you know, not to bring up D or anything, but everybody, like the comments I've seen under the leak phone calls were all like, I've never seen a DD react and talk to a client and give in and, you know, be kind the way he's talking and cares about Lisa. And it's like, I was thinking about that earlier, and it, that's, like, everybody I come in contact with, and I don't know if you've, like, seen other pages, but, like, you know, even, like, not to bring her up, but even, like, Villain, right? She did yeah. all that hate, all that hate on me, not hate, but all the awareness on me, right? And then when she actually got to talk to me, completely stone cold sober, and, like, get to know who I was a little bit sober, right, and not on the internet, She even said publicly, like, I have a different opinion of Lisa, and she doesn't act like that, right? So I think when I start reacting like that, the people that really know me know me have a hard time not giving in and telling me no. All the way down to the drug dealer. Honestly. You're right. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's crazy to say that, but I'm like two opposite people. When I'm not using, I would give somebody the shirt off my back. I'm not worried about myself. And when I am, I'm hyper-focused on myself. It's very bizarre. You know what I mean? Or well, something. It's I not. Know. I mean, dr- an addict is going to be hyper-focused on getting their next fix. That's not, that's not out of the ordinary. But, like, you, like you said, I'm just, like, I'm, I was so glad to hear you say that and admit that you have underlying issues and oh, that's why you're doing yeah. the drugs. Oh, absolutely. Like, that's, that's why I've always that's done a drugs. Huge. I've huge admission. Done. Yeah, that's why I've always done drugs is because when I'm stone cold sober, I don't feel right and you know what I mean, doing any kind of drugs in your brain. I don't know, it makes me feel better for some reason. I don't know. I mean, and, I mean, it makes sense and it makes sense why methadone works for you because methadone literally goes to that receptor in your brain, right? That the opiates go to and make your brain think that you are still on opiates. Right. It and even just, if, yeah, even if, cause I don't feel like it does anything. Maybe when I first started taking it, I felt a little buzz or something, but it doesn't. Yeah. It, yeah. High. But like you said, it, my brain is like, well, I got my fix or something, right? Or something. Yes. Like, I can't explain it. You know? Yes, that is exactly how you explain it. It feels like I got my fix for the day. Like, because, like, my and- anxiety, I noticed too, will like take over because, like, like say when I was, right? If I one hit like that, I was calm. When I was high, right? I did calm, go to dinner, whatever. Do this, do that. I just want that one was gone was on like i was like freaking out getting all upset well were you upset to you know what I, mean? I don't know like, like, yeah I, can, I, I do that with a lot of things i start very rational i do the same like my was like 
and those anxiety is all like something works and then go to walk out my front door or something and like oh no I have to Like, I don't know, it's like this overpowering panic or something that I have to check. Yeah, that's OCD, and a lot of addicts are diagnosed with OCD. I know, I mean, half the addicts that I know have OCD. Yeah, well, I people mean, don't believe me because when I say that, they just go, no, because your house was a mess. Well, I don't have cleaning OCD, but I have some right, kind that of doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't have to be with cleaning. It can be with, like you said, checking the... The it's certain, stove over and over again, yeah, or like checking the lock. Once I, yeah, once I get hyper focused on something, it's hard to break it and you know see that it's okay. It's weird, but it's only I have to things. see with my physical eyes. Like sometimes I'll leave and go to work, and I'll be five minutes down the street, and I'll be like, "Nope, I'm turning around to make sure like this is in place." Or yeah. I'll go to work and I won't be able to work because it's all I think about. Yep, yep. And I thought it was a control thing. It could be a little bit of both, but it, that could be an OCD thing because I'm the same way. You know what I mean? I'll walk back to make sure something's done or, yeah, it, it's bizarre. But I know, I, it's, I don't know. But like I said, they've always been like, no. For, um, bipolar or anything like that? I've never been diagnosed with it, but I may because like I just said, I, I'm... <laughs> I go to yeah, two I mean, opposite sides. <clears throat> you check for everything once you go to rehab. They'll check you anyways. Probably get some the right medicine. Yeah, and you can go to I a psychiatrist like a and they'll do the same thing. Yeah, I would just like a name. And even before this started, I was looking for a name of, because I know I'm not like everybody else completely. And I always knew that. I just don't exactly know. Like I was even looking into like a little bit of autism, maybe. Like I, I don't know exactly hey, what is. I didn't on. want to say anything and like offend you. No, but I Lisa, that is very, symptom. very possible. Like, like you it could, could be just definitely be on this on the spectrum, just in the slightest Somewhere. bit. Of course, shut up. We're talking over her. I, You've been talking for like ten minutes. Let somebody else talk for a second. Who the fuck just said that? I uh, don't know, but I guess Kim kicked her. Okay. <laughs> like I'm sorry if you don't like these people want to come in here and they don't want to hear the good things about you they don't want to actually help you they just want to come on here. here no yeah, not they're not here for that they're here to fucking <laughs> be heard on a goddamn YouTube channel later so they can talk about it and then go over to the chat and have five hours worth of conversation for two comments that they made to you. Are, it's are ridiculous. You, are you for real? Somebody did that? Yeah. Or oh my god. <laughs> it just I it's, it. Can I cut in for just a second? Because I've yes. got sick brain. I can't I can't do the monologue from Portia today. It, it's been over 10 minutes. I get it. I okay. just have a question for Kim. You can stay up here, Portia. She's like, okay, I'm not uh, talking shit about anybody else. I just, I have sick brain. I can't wait. Okay, uh, I understand. I have a headache too, so I, I kind of feel you on that. Not with Portia, just with not wanting to wait. So, Kim, are you there? Uh, I believe she is because somebody kicked that lady, and I believe we're the only two that can. Unless I'm wrong. I didn't kick her. Kim? Go on. Okay, go ahead. So I'm I'm just curious because this has been in my brain racking back and forth. You had set up rehab for Lisa that accepted her insurance, that dosed her. You said that a car was gonna pick her up on Saturday and then it moved to Monday. Monday no, came and went. Saturday. I never said Saturday. I said Okay, Saturday. so I probably okay. got that. Yeah, she might have missed her. Um it's okay. But the part came Monday. Why wasn't it reset up on your end? Like, I'm curious on um, if you had everything set up and done and ready to go. I had one chance to get in the car. That was it. Right. But since then, if Lisa's ready to go, 
why haven't you reset up with the same place you had already found that was going to pick up? Like I said, she had a once in a lifetime chance. It was a one chance to get in the car and she did not do it. Okay. That's all I wanted. If you want to continue, you can. I just find it hysterical how mad people get when someone comes up here and isn't an asshole. It blows me away. Like, and like, I there's like little comments like popping up on the bottom, like on my iPad from the uh, chat. I'm not on it. I'm not looking at it. But like the things that are being said, it's just. Wow. Like and if 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 they hate if these people hate you so much, why are they here? Like I said, when I first started watching you and I I first saw your like old videos where you were like getting like really crazy and angry and like screaming all the time, like I that's what I first saw and that's what I made my first judgment off of. And honestly, like, even before this discord, I had had a change of heart. But most definitely after this, like, I, I, I definitely feel different. Like, because I, I was one of those people that was like, oh, my God, like, yeah, what is this woman doing? Da, 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 da. But I never stopped to think until I saw your sister post those fucking pictures. And I was like, dude, someone did that shit to me. And I, I'm on Klonopin. I used to be on methadone. I know what it does. I know what it can do. And I know for a fact you don't have to take half a bottle for it to do that to you. Okay? Especially with the dose that you're on on methadone. You don't need... You don't need 15 clonopin to make you nod out. And you were in what you you said you were in your bed. Like, you're not out just, in the hey, living room. I just want to speak on that. Like, because I had a sister that passed away. And I really think her sister was truly coming. I know it hurt Lisa to see those pictures. But I really think her sister was trying to come from, like, a good place to tell people, look where your money's doing. Like, I really felt like Ronnie was not being... But, her, 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 but people, do, she doesn't no spend her days for her script. That's ab that's absolute bullshit. No one also pays for her dose. And not she gets cash off here and goes up where she goes that's and bullshit. gets her stuff. She was sleeping off of her dose and on mm -hmm. her on a pin. That's how, and that I, I probably honestly, if someone were to walk into my bedroom at five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, I'd look the exact same way. Like I'd be let, like you know what I'm saying. Like I would be knocked the fuck out because I would go and get my methadone because I'm gonna say this, and this is gonna cause everybody to go fuck it. I used to be a dancer. So when I would get off work, I would get off work at like 3 30, 4 o'clock, and my my clinic would open at 5 30. So I would just go from work to my clinic and then go home and go to sleep. And like I would wake up to and take my medicine in like the middle of the day. And I it, yes, it would put me right back to sleep for a little bit because that I, it just what it does. And if a but doctor, listen, when I saw those pictures, it literally looked like Lisa was dead. Like I know she was sleeping, I believe that. But like coming into a room, seeing her neck like that, I would have panicked. I would have thought my sister was gone too. I, I I literally looked like she was dead. And Lisa knows I'm not being smart. I'm coming from uh, you, Lisa knows I'm not being smart. You did look dead in those pictures. No, she did not. 
She I don't think, think so at like all. Oh, no, she had color in her face. Like for a family member to actually put pictures. She out looked of pale. Her. She looked I'm pale. Not. Like she looked sick. She like was she was sick. gone. That is it. But but like, you guys, she she has she just she was on crack. So of course she's not gonna look the greatest. But like, and that's what did. Ronnie's saying. Where your money's going to? Look what it's doing. You just said it cracked. That's what Ronnie people's said. That's money what aren't to. paying for her dose or her Klonopin. And crack doesn't make you do that. So people, the people mixing everything is together will do that. Mixing it all together will cause that. No, it won't. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The ignorance. It just keeps. I can't. Oh, um, I don't know how you guys do this all day. And Lisa knows I'm not being ignorant. Lisa knows me in real life. She knows I'm not being ignorant. Uh, it doesn't matter if she knows you in real life or not. It, 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 what you, I, you, I, you're not, you have never been I'm on methadone. Like call, you, yeah, you're yeah, calling it like you see it, but you, you have never I'm been there. It. Yes, I have. Okay. I mean, you're. But, Seven years. You so you've been on methadone and klonopin at the same time. You know what that does? Not both, but still, she looks like that. Okay. Can I? Can I? So talk? you don't know. Can I talk? Can I talk, please, guys? Okay. I muted everybody. Okay. I just want to say this real quick. Okay. I know Mommy Amy's friends. You know, with my sisters and has known my family a long time, and and I respect what you're saying. Um, my point is, I don't think. You should have ever seen those pictures. And I think what Portia's trying to get at is, you know, she shouldn't have put them out. And Ronnie can get mad at me for this if she wants. You know, that's my sister. I love her always. You know, one time she's over here and we're great. The next time she's telling my dad, keep her upstairs. I'm going to knock his bitch out. You know, I'm the same way. We're sisters. We fight, right? But the pictures shouldn't have been out. I was in my room in my parents' house, okay? Um. I don't care what I was doing. I don't care if I was naked. Um, I don't care. It, it shouldn't, you know, if I'm outside, knotted or in the living room or in the yard, fair game, right? I was in my room. Um, it shouldn't have happened. And, and to be fair, I was threatened with those. So it was, if it was all about, I'm just, you know, worried, why, why were they being used as a threat? Um, and, you know, that's all. I'm going to say about it, if you guys want to, you know, talk your opinions about it without, like, bringing up, you know, Ronnie, that's fine. But to be fair, my parents really don't take my side on much, and they were pissed about the pictures because they were in my room, in, you know, private room, right? So, whoever wants to go, can, let me. Can you guys let Nikki know? She's asking to come up in the comments. Who is Ronnie? Ronnie? Your daughter, Nikki. Nikki. Nikki, your um, daughter. Tell her. She has to request. I can't let people up that don't. Okay. But I don't know, Kim, because of what I told you on the phone. Tell her to text me first. Can I speak for just a minute? Yeah. Um, yes, I would ahead. like to. Sorry, sorry. I would like to apologize for interrupting Porsche. I was getting really frustrated because I think some of the things that she was saying are not helpful to you. I was not mad that she's being kind to you. Lisa, wait, I wait, 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 wait. Can I say one thing? I'm not going to cut you sure. off. Portia, I didn't mean to just mute you. I hit server mute. I thought I muted the whole board. I'm sorry. But go no, ahead. No, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, go ahead, Erswile. Okay, thank you. So I wasn't going to come here and be mean to you. I didn't get upset with Porsche because she was being kind to you. I think that all humans deserve kindness and I do want to see you get help and get better. I wanted to address some of the things that she was saying that I think are really harmful. One being rehab is not just for detoxing or people who can't, you know, kick the habit for a few days. Rehab is more about a comprehensive treatment plan. You know, the counseling, um, there's one-on-one -on -one stuff, there's group stuff. One of the most important things for sobriety is knowing that you're not alone that you're not super unique. You know, you're, we're each unique, we're each special, but at the same time, we're all the same. All of us addicts share something and we need to know that to survive. 
they call it terminal uniqueness in the program. It's like, I'm so special and weird and nobody understands me. And I just have to numb out because this world is too hard for me. And it's like, there's so many of us who feel that way. And we find each other and we know that about each other. And yes, psychiatry and stuff, super important part of this. I believe that every addict is medicating for some reason. Some of it is, you know, trauma. Some of it is we're born with things going on with our brains. I think a lot of the addicts are incredibly kind and smart and they're medicating being in a painful world. I think that that's very common. And I just, I don't think that anybody dissuading you from going to rehab is helping you. Because I really, really think that if you're in the right place mentally, you can make a lot of really good connections and really get a lot of good help. And especially she know can that, do that she can do that without having to go to inpatient rehab, though. Yeah. Inpatient rehab is a really good place to be because I'm you're not totally saying that it's not on that. I let you speak. Let me speak, please. <laughs> I don't think that you're I, an authority on this and just me, but I, I would not take the word as somebody who seems to be this ignorant, Lisa. My point is, I wish you all the best, and I really oh, think for but you, you, okay, for you right. to understand that um, you are I not think, so different. Who kicked her? What happened? I didn't. I, I, I think she was coming, and this is just being fair. I'm kind of with you on some stuff, but I think she is just one of them that don't believe that I'm actually going to go. And she was kind of just being like, if you don't, these are other things that that's what I got. Yeah. Out of. I could be wrong. You know, and that's fair. I just, I really want to encourage you to go. And I know everybody's telling you the same shit and I'm not going to bore you with my story, but I mean, I think everybody knows that you're clever, you're witty. Like this is not an issue of you just being stupid, making stupid choices. This is an issue of you medicating something. And there's yeah. no better place for you to be than somewhere where you can completely focus on delving into the issues and connecting, like, especially with other women who get you and who know what it's like and can tell you that you're not the only one who feels like this. You're not the only one who's done these things, you know? Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I want to keep grabbing, but I just wanted to say that. And I truly wish you the best. And please do. Please do go. Please go. But yeah, I, I feel like there's any other option um, at this point. Yeah. Okay. Well, I wish you the best. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Um, did she leave or um, if you want to text me, it I just am curious because I think Nikki wanted to address something with her. I don't know. But. So I was just wondering that right there. Fucking headache won't go away or something. <laughs> well, right side of my head hurts. Behind my eyeballs hurts. Damn. Get an ice pack. Put it on your forehead. I'm I'm thinking that because I'm actually like holding my eye just because it hurts behind my eye for some reason. Put a rag. Get a wet rag. Put it in the freezer for like an hour. Not an hour. You put like 20 minutes and then put it on your forehead. Yeah, um, no, I appreciate that. What I, I wanted to ask. Well, I guess it can be to you now. Like, Lisa, you're taking advice from somebody who literally the other night said that they overtake their medication also. Do you remember her saying that? Uh, no. Maybe if you refresh my memory. I, I know I didn't remember her saying that. Remember you were saying, oh, if your back tickles, you think you're going through withdrawal. And she was like, oh, yeah, I'll wake up and I'll take another sub if I can't go back to bed. Yes, do I remember do remember that. Yeah. Yes, yes, I do remember that. Yes. You're taking advice from somebody who's still an active, you know, I don't want to say user because I believe in, um, you know, subs, methadone. I believe in all that. It can help you. But not when you're over-medicating. Yeah. I don't know if that's like a current thing or she was just, you know, that's what she's done. So she was medicating. Related. I'm prescribed two pills a day. I only take one a day. Did and you when not I hear what I said? Did you not hear what I said? 
how am I over medicating? You said when you wake up in the middle of the night, you will take an extra sub or half a sub. So what do you do when your subs run out? What do I you do? I run out because I'm prescribed not two out you take and extra. only take one. So when I need an extra one, it's there. You don't like, I, I don't have to explain all of my life to you just because I say, hey, I take Suboxone. You don't know you how don't, much I'm you prescribed. You take Suboxone, you take Klonopin and you're telling Lisa not to go to rehab? Ooh. Yes, I do. I Who just like, you? I take Klonopin and I take Suboxone. I see a doctor, doctor every single month you have, that prescribes you me to, both. So did you what, go to, what? School to be a doctor? Are you telling me that you're you more doctor? educated than my you doctor? Nurse? Is that are what you you're doctor? saying? You're, you're more educated, educated than a doctor. You're more you're educated, educated than a doctor. Than people telling me to tell to me what I should be taking. I've been on the same medication for fucking seven years, and it's kept me clean, bitch. So please take bitch. it elsewhere, bitch. You said if you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't go back to sleep, you take extra. That's what you said. Don't okay. twist your words. I'm sorry the Don't word extra words. came out. It's extra Don't for me because words. I only and take, take one pill a day. But I and prescribe two. So it's and really not. Yes, I do. I sure as hell do. And guess what? Whenever I don't, whenever uh, I, my Klonopin is take three a day. And when I don't feel like no, I need three, I don't mean? take three. I so you, get, you don't right? know shit about my <laughs> life. You know nothing about me or my medication. Tell Lisa not to go to rehab. Who are you? Who are you? I'm telling her there's other options than for you people to get up here and shove it down her throat. I'm not in an active addiction mindset like you are. Tell Lisa How am not I in an active rehab. addiction? I am on prescribed mindset. medication. My mindset. Open your ears. Open your ears. Dude. I'm on prescribed medication. Mommy, Amy, do you want to go? Jessica, do you want to go? Is something going on that they can't unmute? I think that's why they're dropping. I, they're trying. I don't know. I didn't hit anything or do anything. Um, I'm just wondering because I think that's why they're dropping. I don't know. I'm about over it. I've invited Nikki up. I don't know how many times. I, I kicked Nikki. until why? Because I. They like are yelling at me to let her up. She just wants to come up. No, I said Nikki um, wanted to address something with Portia. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll tell you if um. I know. Yeah. I don't know. They're just like yelling at me in the chat. So no, I, they're making it seem like I'm like not letting her up or something. No, I kick. How'd she get back up? I let her up. Okay, I'm over this. I did ask him. I'm done today. You guys can just do this yourself. No, oh, you're fine. Nikki, if you want to request again, go ahead. I will uh, let you up. Or whoever wants to. Uh... 
Hello? Lisa. Yes. Lisa, I just want to say, when you do final clean, I don't think you're But when you do, you're going to see everything she said for the clown shit that it is. And Kim, for the fake friend that she is. That's all I'm saying. When you do finally get clean, you'll see it. Yes, ma'am. That's all. Nikki Thank for president. Yeah, Nikki and Abby for president. Can you, um, do you know how to unmute and stuff? And Nick? Um, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> Nikki for president is funny as fuck. Mm-hmm. What's up? Anyways, uh, I just wanted to say I do not agree with Portia because you should absolutely go to rehab and you absolutely should see a psychiatrist and all that fun jazz. I agree. But I, feel like, I feel like that's something you should do after the rehab. Agree. Or during. I guess, but if for rehab, you should be inpatient. No, I, I, I know. I think she's just coming from a place of one of the people that don't believe that. I'm trying to go, you know, and she's just saying, well, if you're not going to go, like, this is the things you could probably do if you're really not going to go, you know what I mean, to, like, help yourself. Yes, but psychiatrists ain't going to help you if, I don't think, if you're in active addiction, because they're going to prescribe you meds, and then you got to be honest with actually what you're taking, just to make sure the meds don't mess yeah. you up more. Well, yeah, um, it's on my chart, I always am, but, um, but no, that... I mean, she's talking about to just kick, you know, the crack, like, long-term. Um, you know, you got to take care of the mental stuff that you're trying to know. Yeah, you should absolutely kick the crack long-term. You should kick that bitch and flush it down the fucking toilet. Yeah, I, I agree. That's the plan. That's the plan, Stan. So, what's stopping you? One thing, one paper. One paper? What paper? A, a sentence, to be honest. A sentence of what? A sentence. Like jail? No, like a sentence on a piece of paper. Why the fuck did I think jail? <laughs> I have no idea why you would think jail. Y'all, it's been a long day. Did you work today? Yeah, this time change got me absolutely fucked up. Yeah, did it go front or back, forward or back? When it went the, back. So at what, like two, it jumped back to two or something. Or I mean one. No, it jumped back to one. So it's actually nine ten, but it feels like it's eight ten. Or it says eight it, ten, but it's actually nine ten. Our bodies, yes, right? Yes, yes. That our body thinks. Sense. That makes so more sense of why I feel like shit today. And girl, you yeah, okay. I didn't even remember and they jumped. out of bed today and didn't go. What? Why didn't... Uh, what? You had I a bed today and you didn't go? I did not have a bed today and did not go. I don't... Nikki, I don't read the chat. Um, okay, well, I do. Okay, well, then please read it to yourself and not out loud. Please. I can't read? And thank you. You can read all you want. Damn, I can't read, guys. Damn. Well, if I wanted to read what they were saying and answer it, I'd be over there reading it, right? Why? I don't really care. But that's all I wanted to say. I don't agree with Shorty. That's okay. I mean, that's what I took out of it. Um, you know, was if, if you're not going to go, this is other things you could do. Um, you know, other people have said the same. Uh, so yeah, but I understand. I really hope you do, because I'd really not like to wake up to another dead parent. You won't. I hate to say it like that, but I really, like I said yesterday, I literally cannot do another death. I will flip my car for fun. Yeah, no, um, not going to do that to you guys, man. At all. Yeah, you're not going to do it intentionally, and dad didn't do it intentionally either. All it takes is one little fuck up, and then you're done. No, you're absolutely right, but yes, I'm absolutely right. That's exactly what happened to Dad. Yeah, I'm not going to get into this on here, but yeah, Dad 
knew Why? a little bit. You know, he, he Why? Knew. Everyone else exposes your life on here. He had chances. After chance, after chance, after chance, after chance. You know what I mean? So I also don't do that. So, you know. Hey, Lisa, I don't want to cut your daughter off. What sentence do you have to do to get into rehab? Like, what do you have to say? Like, I want to go in. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, no, no. The paper that I guess the clinic sent, um, the guy said that they nurses won't approve it unless it says that, um, you know, we'll take her back regarding regardless of withdrawal status. Like, and for some reason, that's so fucking important. I don't know why. Alrighty, I'm just hoping and praying you go soon before, you know, I don't want to. I hear you, and I understand yeah, everybody's, man, yeah, I understand everybody's yeah. resolutions and what they're thinking, and I'd be thinking and I know this. we can't force it. When you're ready, you're ready, because if you're not ready, you go. It's not going to work. You know? No, it, it isn't. It someday. No, it isn't, and what happened? Oh, yeah, because if, you know, the last time I was in there Didn't one somebody time. Somebody wrote a whole fucking paragraph? When I was in there for, you know, the benzos, the only time I've been in rehab, you know, I only stayed 16 out of 28 days and, you know, actually got out of there with a diploma that I stayed 28 days. You know what I mean? Like, so, yeah, if I go and I'm not ready, it's not going to do anything. Trust me. You know, so. But I am. Knocked over my pumpkin. What? Sorry. Snoopy knocked over my pumpkin pillow. Sorry. I forget I'm not fucking muted. My fault. fault. <laughs> Y'all, I just work here part time, not full time. Is Snoopy a puppy dog or a cat? He's a two year old beagle. And he has floppy ears. Hold on. I can't send pictures in here. That's fucking Where'd, you get, where'd you get them? Snoopy was rescued from Animal Friends. Mm -hmm. There were apparently like 3,000 beagles in a warehouse getting abused, and he's one of them. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. It is terrible. I was trying to send a picture of him, but I can't, I can't do it. Okay, well, lame. Boo, tomato, tomato. Oh, that comment's crazy. I'm looking to see. I'm looking to see if there's a way I can like I can give you permission to like share a picture. Let me see. Yeah, no, I'm trying to share a picture of Snoopy. Look at all things, Lisa. Okay, hang on. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is this for? Why? What? What's in all things, Lisa? I don't know. Well, who why told I, you to go over there? Why am I getting summoned here? I don't know. Here, I'll send. I can send a picture of Snoopy in here. Okay, let me read these. Hold on, let me find a picture of Snoopy. Okay, they wanted you to share a picture. Pretty much. I'll send the pictures from when me and him went to the beach together. Yeah, I don't know how to... Does anybody know how to give people permissions? To see if I have that, or... That is Snoopy. It's sending. It's sent. How are you Bye. doing tonight, Lisa? Ban, kick, timeout, unverify, server, mute. I know uh, he's cute. He's my baby. Say, why the fuck does this call always gonna be fucking arguing? Why can't we just talk? Text me. Text me a pic. Mom, I put in the all things Lisa. Why don't what? Just text it. I don't go in there. He has permissions to post pictures. Oh, thank you. Hello, I'm here, motherfuckers. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling like P. Diddy. Oh, God. Feeling like P. Diddy. Got my glasses. I'm out the door. We finna hit this. 
before I leave, brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack. Oh, Lord. Kim, are you are you staying, Kim? I'm just chilling. Can you hear me, Kim? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure if I had to go fix it again. If you want to keep it going a little bit, can I try to keep it? I don't know. They're trying to say that I, I kicked them. I didn't kick anyone. No, I, I kicked both the girls. Can you up me, update me, Lisa? I'm late to the party, I guess. How's things going with the whole situation? Which one? Um, of you going to rehab. I'm not being a bitch, so don't think I'm taking, don't go that way. No. Like, I'm not, I'm not no, being I, angry. Um, I was just seriously asking. Yeah, nothing accomplished today, unfortunately. So what is it you're waiting for your clinic so you can get dosed at the rehab? Yeah, apparently they said the nurses at the rehab will not approve, you know, me to dose at the rehab while I'm there. If the sentence ain't in the thing saying they'll take me back regardless of my withdrawal status. Right. Do you have a primary care doctor? Yes. So could your primary, this is just a thought, like just a thought. Could mm -hmm. your primary care doc, do they know you're on methadone? Um, yeah. Obviously. Obviously. Yeah. So could they... They couldn't, like, write a prescription for that rehab for you? Have you tried that option? No, I didn't. Um, like, what, ask him to help me get in, or? Well, no, ask him. Well, are you on, not to be too nosy, I know there's a lot of people listening, but uh, are you on state care? Like, uh, I'm in Maine, so it's called Maine Care. But are you, like... Yeah, you it's called Medicaid here, but yeah. Oh, okay. So you don't have to pay to go see your primary care doctor, per se? No. Okay. So do you think you could go to your primary care doctor and be like, here is the deal. Obviously, you're going to have to tell the truth and be honest with them and say, listen, this is my problem. I want to go, but they're stopping me because I can't get my methadone in there. I need your help. Yeah. Well, I and don't know what he could do, though, because he can't write for the clinic that they'll take me back. Right. But it's so, oh, they've, you've gotten kicked out of the clinic, you mean? No. Okay. So your primary care doctor, if he knows you go to the, I, my job is doing what I'm talking to you about right now. I work 45 hours a week doing this for people. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm an addict. I'm 10 years clean. And this is my job. Like, this is what I do for people. That I help them remain alive. I help them survive. Like, there's so fucking many beautiful flowers on the other side. But it's getting there that... Yeah. And I did, believe me, I know, like, our healthcare system here sucks. Um, it, it, there's, it's, it's crazy. Um... Mm -hmm. But it even Maine's a really small state, and we have so many homeless drug addicts that are out on the streets that it's not even funny. Like, it's literally not that, funny. Yeah. So, not saying that they're going to... The doctor obviously isn't going to prescribe you methadone, but if you could get with your primary care doctor and have them set up something with that certain rehab, they're mandated reporters. They have to report that. 
So if that's the only reason that you're going to rehab is because you or you're not going to, sorry, excuse me, if you're not going to rehab, it's because you can't get your methadone, your primary care doctor should take care of that for you. Like, and I'm not talking out of my ass. Like, I'm serious. Like, there's, you might, there's some pretty cruel he, restrictions. Yeah, he can't, right. he's not the prescriber of the methadone, though. The it doesn't matter. Doctor. It doesn't it, matter. He's your it, primary it, it, care doctor. Yeah. So okay. it wouldn't be him prescribing it to you. It would be him referring you to the rehab. And then when you get a referral from your primary care doctor and they know that you go to the clinic, obviously you're not going to be able to go to the clinic every day. Right. So it's that's they the can issue. just take you off of methadone. Right. Yeah, that's the issue. And you've talked and they won't do that for you. No, ma'am. I know you're trying to get a got you, but listen to this, okay, ma'am. Okay, me. The yes, you. The clinic has to send a letter saying that regardless what, however I leave, right, get kicked out, um, stay, graduate, leave AMA, okay, they will take me back. The doctor that doesn't prescribe it cannot say that the clinic will take me back, okay trying to get you if that's what you think i'm saying because you I absolutely went the are no oh, i'm really and honest to God. you actually look stupid because you're not understanding what i'm saying uh, that's why i asked you and i answered beginning. 10 times i said the pcp does not prescribe it he cannot speak for the clinic it's not about a rehab I i'm completely ready to go talk to them that one sentence for some reason is so important that they will not approve them giving me my methadone and so they get that does nobody else in that rehab get matt services because i think you think that yes. i'm trying to get yes. out on you right now and i'm really not they do like, i yes. really seriously am not trying to get at you i'm trying to figure out a solution for you because i know what it's like to try to come off a of shit with nothing. And it fucking sucks. No one that is on any time of mat services wants mm -hmm. to go cold turkey. Especially to a fucking rehab. Oh, okay, no. So no, they, they, they have methadone right it. there and, and dose it, yes. Like, no one that's ever been on this, on a program at all, would even understand this. So I get that yeah. there's a lot of people that don't understand it. But yeah. anybody that's ever used methadone or Suboxone understands that when you are a heavy user and you go from that to nothing, it's, it, it doesn't happen. Like, some people can go through that. Some people can quit cold turkey. I wasn't one of them. I used Suboxone for five years. But yeah, it's, it's thank rough, God man. I was able to come off of it. But it, it's the point that no one can come off of methadone with nothing. Um, go ahead me oh i don't know i thought i heard somebody oh, else yeah like no I, it's I not just to take it how you have, one more thing you need to be signed from my uh, method um, I, I did that yesterday i was down pardon? there for two hours um they needed a which anybody who's been in you know methadone knows what i'm talking about uh they rehab needed a I forget what they called it, but they said that no matter what status I leave on. What happened? Keep going. Because I've already answered this. And Hunter's mom answered it too. So keep going, ma'am. Because it just proves my point that I'm telling the truth. So please keep going. That wasn't me. No, I know who it was. I just wanted oh, okay. to keep going. I've already okay. said they thought that they got the paper. Even when Hunter's mom came up, she said, yeah, the guy that we spoke with said, yeah, we got it. And then he looked and the sentence wasn't in there and said, well, wait a minute. They have to do this. So, again, OK, yeah. Thanks for the proof. Have a good day. So, yeah, I don't even know anything about all that. That's not even what I was here for. I was just here trying to yeah, give my to help you. Like, I really thought you think I was trying to get you there and i really wasn't like no it's, if you weren't i apologize people you know no, do I really that, but it, 
you could have just misunderstood because Hunter's mom honestly was shocked too when she heard the phone call and he shot off all the dates that I've called behind the scenes without even saying anything. She was like, I'm shocked and I believe you. And what the guy literally said, nobody can do anything right now but the clinic. They won't even let me get the paper myself and fucking send it. They have to do that and fax it themselves from the clinic. It is frustrating. Trust me. It is. Oh, I get it. Oh, I, like, I totally understand. So is there another one that, that you could choose from? Is there another rehab close or, well, do you think it would be better to stay? Do you want to stay there or were you, are you willing to leave town? I'm willing to leave anywhere, but I don't know if like every rehab needs that. Like, I, I don't know what the, I don't know. I don't know what the, the problem is and that they need that. I understand that. I guess they're trying to cover, I guess, I guess my, my ass on the back end. I don't understand why it's so important. Right. I well, guess if you have Medicaid. I'm sure. I mean, honestly, I could I could try to help you get um, into some place that's that will be willing to put you on the map program. I mean, I don't I don't want to know your bit. I mean, like I said, I'm in Maine, so I'm not even close to you. But um, well, I mean, I am, but not close enough to be able to meet up and take you somewhere. But right. I mean. If you're willing to try a different, I mean, where are you in Pennsylvania, right? Pittsburgh, PA, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm sure that's a big city, so I'm sure there's mm -hmm. more than one rehab. Or is this just an like? Is there a nice one that would take your um your well, medic? The closest ones that we have that we get thrown into is Bowling Green or White Deer Run. Um, but do you want to be in a close one though? Like, no, I, I don't give a shit. I just, they have to be able to either dose me every morning or dose me, you know, down or, yep. uh, and I don't have the money to pay. That's only two things. Well, I mean, if you're willing to travel, I guarantee there's another place within 50 miles. And a lot of rehabs nowadays, if you contact a really good rehab that takes your state aid, they will put you on a bus, they will pay for your bus ticket, and they will put you on a bus, they will have somebody meet you when you get off, and there are places that, that use the MAP program that you could get into, and I know this for a fact, and I can do research if you want me to and send it to you, but, like, I'm just, if you're serious about it this time, then I, there's a lot of people that will help you. I just, I want you to be serious about it, because... I mean, let's face it. If you've been an act before, you understand. And mm -hmm. I do. You I understand. Don't you? Don't. And that's all there is to it. So, if yeah. you really want to help, then there's people out there that will help you. Yes, I mean, I understand your thought process. I, I really do. I, I can't get mad at it. All right. There's a lot of people that care about you, Lisa. No, I appreciate that, and I'm sorry for getting aggravated. Um, it's all good. I just don't want you to think I was trying to do I I got you. Like that's not what I was doing at all. Yeah. No, I apologize. It just gets you know Okay. All right. All right. Have a good night, honey. You too. Bye.
Anyway, now I'll just go up here. Bye bye. Let me figure out how to get off this damn thing. I'm here. Um, Abby and Nicole, if you are still in here, check your text messages. Let you guys up in two seconds. I just want to shoot a text off to Kim and see if she's coming back. If not, okay. If yes, okay. I just want to be able to shoot it off without, so I can listen to you guys. Give me two seconds. I'll let, let you guys up. Okay, let's see. I, I let everybody up. I think there's a green thing that comes up. You have to hit accept to come up, I believe. Um, but I let everybody up that was requesting. Um, I gotta, I gotta fix my audio. I don't think I did that one. Second. Hey, real quick, I talked to you on Saturday night. Um, what Tracy was just saying about a primary care physician writing you a script for methadone to take to rehab, no primary care physician in their right mind is going to write a prescription for an opiate to take into a rehab. Mine wouldn't. I mean, I is that what she was saying? That I missed that That's part what of she was saying to okay. forego the clinic and get a PCP to write your prescriptions. Oh, PCPs yeah. by law cannot treat opioid or audio? addiction. No, he's not going to do that. I just wanted to hop up and say that, um, Abby and Nikki probably um, won't be joining Lisa, they started their own Discord so. They have a stage going and they're up talking and everything. So I just wanted to let you know that their channel is in the comments in the chat. Anyhow, um, I saw yeah, that as so, well. So Hold on. By law, primary care physicians cannot treat opioid addiction. They absolutely will not write an opiate for you to take to rehab. And that's all I wanted to say because she kept saying she knew what she was talking about and she absolutely did not. Are you here, Lisa? I I am here. I just wanted to ask, which I think is what a lot of people want to know, and if you can answer honestly. So you're standing on for the last four to five days that you've been clean. You're not making any money off the Discord. There's no behind the scenes. It's all on the up and up. Yes, ma'am. Because I honestly believe that your children want their mother back. They believe in what's going on, obviously. And to let them down, to have this be some kind of scam or whatever would probably be pretty devastating to that relationship no i i agree with you i agree it, well yeah absolutely 
So I truly do hope because when I first started following and watching you, um, you know, and I think with a lot of people too, they saw bits and pieces of themselves or things they could relate to or relate right. within their families and, you know, whatever. And so we've tried to remain hopeful that for your sake, for your children's sake, that you really do want to get better and you're going to put in the work to do so and that this is real and not just some kind of whatever. Yeah, no, I understand that. And I understand why people think it. And, you know, I, I can't get mad at it. You know what I mean? So I just want to say, I never once said that you should get a doctor's prescription from your PCP. Obviously, I'm not that. I never once said that. I said she needed to get a referral from her personal doctor to go to rehab and if the doctor knows that she is going to the clinic he will refer her to that rehab with being on methadone i never said that oh her pcp will give her a take-home methadone prescription obviously not or she would get take-homes every day we all know this so I wish I could have got on here while the lady was running her mouth, but I couldn't. Yeah, I didn't. And, I didn't you know, hear that either. I said. Yeah, I didn't hear that either. That's why I was confused. Um, and yeah, I think we just were kind of missing each other with the situation. You know what I mean? I never said your PCP is going to give you a prescription for methadone to take home and to take to rehab. That will never fucking happen. Obviously, we all know that. No, not in a million years. I'm saying your PCP can give you a referral to the rehab. Knowing that you go to the clinic, knowing that you need to go to the clinic. Yeah, he he he. Then, right, exactly. That was my point. I never said that your doctor is going to send you with a prescription. So that lady that came on here, come on back because you act like I'm an idiot. And I wish I could have got back on here when you were on there because I would have shut you down. So don't. I was never saying that. Just so you know, I but I agree that I believe that you do need some sort of inpatient rehab, whatever that may be, whatever works for you, whatever's going to get the job done. But you do need some sort of inpatient mental health mm -hmm. help that can help you get through the things that are truly what's causing all of this disruption in your life and your kids life with your family, exactly. because healing needs to happen. And once that starts to happen the other things will align for you. However that looks for you, however it works for you, as long as you're getting it done. Well said. Hey, Tracy, this is the one you just said was just running her mouth. You yeah. You did say that. You may not have meant to say that, yeah. but you said that. Go look at the chat. I'm not the only one that heard it. I never said her doctor was going to give her a prescription. I said her doctor can give her referral. Yeah, regardless of all of that, the fighting and the bickering. It's, it's, it's it's a doctor is not going to give an addict an opiate to go to rehab. If you know what the fuck you're talking about, then say it. But you don't. So shut the fuck up. When has methadone become an opiate? Regardless of any of that, uh, have you oh, seen there's tons of, of people other in the avenues? You need to go look. Because there's tons of people no, in the no, right no, methadone is not an opiate. Wow. Yeah. Did somebody say when did methadone become an opiate? Okay, so I just not you with little children, so Method. I know what I said. Method is an idea. You don't. you don't know what you said. Go read the chat. You may, I said, you may have not meant that, but that is wait. 100% what you said. Wait, wait, no, question. Miss Tra Tracy, did you just say when did methadone become an opiate? No, I said that is what she said. Oh my god, you just said I when did methadone become an opiate. You're I an didn't idiot. say that. I didn't say that. You're as dumb as Tim. Is not. Okay. Twilight Zone. You cannot do this for a living. Yeah, I was just about to say no disrespect, but you need to be fired. Yeah, no, no disrespect, but there's no way, ma'am. You work what you just said you did, and you don't know that methadone is an opiate. So yeah. Yes, it is most definitely. I mean that that that's that. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be rude. She wasn't rude to me. It's just I mean that's that. So 
Um, okay. So my question was, have you know, if this seems to be having, you know, it's, it's so difficult and time consuming and taking so all the things, have you maybe looked into other avenues? Spoken with um, the psychiatrist. You know, maybe go into a, a different route since, you know, what you're dealing with isn't maybe yeah. exactly what everyone else has gone through. Yeah. Um, you mean like other avenues other than rehab or? Yes, like a mental health facility, uh, you know, mental behavioral health, things like that. There's other referrals, other types of doctor, you know what I mean? Just to do what you need to do for your mental health, which I think is the catalyst to a lot of these issues. Yeah. Um, yeah. And a lot of people have, have that know me personally have said that, you know, if you're not going to go, um, you know, yeah, IOP, they've been pushing. My counselor has been, um, you know, because I, I obviously can't do it on my own or it would have been done. And, um, you know, it's um, so something, something got to give. I need some kind of help. Right. And then they can give you referrals. They're going to make sure that you have the proper medicines. They're going to figure out what medicines work best for you, where the apps are. So those types of things will be taken care of. And then your mental health can also be addressed. There's mental health facilities. I'm, I'm not sure as far as the inpatient, maybe there's other people that could direct you as far as those types of things go. Yeah. This, yeah. This direction just seems to keep hitting walls. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's not good. For people to just stonewall and say attack anybody who's given other you know options because then I feel like okay well you know this is the only option when that's not I mean it's not the only option it's the option I do feel that would be best and I need but I'm just saying you know because then nothing gets done right because then you know so just throwing that out there. Have you, have you ever been on mental health medications before? Um mental health uh other than like is clonopin considered because it's, for, it's for anxiety no no I'm, oh. I'm talking about like effects or paxil or you know yeah you zoloft know. i've been on and i'm yeah. prescribed that now do you take it daily no okay well if you're prescribed it how do you skip doses uh, i yeah i never started taking it because i googled it and it said that you don't have it you can get brain zaps etc or something so i never actually started taking it to be honest look there's look about every side effect for every medication out there right now is death yeah you can't not take something you're prescribed by a doctor who knows what they're talking about mm -hmm. just because of side effects if that was the case none of us would take anything um, that's why i didn't just try it you know you may never know it may, it may, you know, and that's for, you know, anxiety too, but you can't yeah. skip or it's going to make your anxiety through the roof. Cause yeah. I was on the effects or, and I, I sucked cold turkey and I relapsed because of my anxiety. So once yeah. you start, you cannot stop. I started seeing my PCP after big cold pass. And I think, yeah, that's what he was trying to manage was the depression and the anxiety best he can with combinations. Um, of non narcotics like the yeah, uh, wow. Zoloft, he prescribed Boost Bar, right? Um, which is non narcotic for anxiety, you know. Yeah. So. Well, the best thing that I ever took when I was um, clean that helped me stay clean mm -hmm. was Prestique. And was what? Like Zoloft Prestique, P R E S T I Q. Okay. And it, it's like three drugs in one, three anxiety mm -hmm. meds in one. Is I think it's Effector, Zoloft, and Paxil. That's like never, all of all three of them rolled into one. Hmm. And I never I heard of it. There in a in a matter of a week, it changed my life. So I'm telling you, you're probably not listening to me. You probably don't give a shit. I don't blame no. you. People. No, but no, I'm listening. I'm listening. Be, um, yeah, I, I should absolutely take my Zoloft. Um, I never heard of the Prestige. And, and curly-headed fork, I'm not a weak fuck. I understand what she's going through. I, too, am MAT. I take 100 milligrams of methadone a day. Okay. I've been clean for two years. Right. So curly-headed fork in the chat, fuck off, because I'm not weak. But anyhow, Lisa, have a good night, okay? You, too. And sorry if you get a bunch of hate. I'm sorry. 
look, you're fine. I don't care. They get mad because I won't scream at you. Yeah, I I know. <laughs> There's a way and to so to speak to you and say truthful facts mm -hmm. without screaming at you. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I even if they're saying things that are you know I don't want to hear, I still if they're talking calm and you know normal, I try to listen and answer as best I can. You know. Yeah. So again, good night. I'm going to bed and I hope you get a, a good night's sleep. Okay. You too. Thank you. Yes. Bye. Okay. Just let everybody back up. I just let everybody back up. You might get up. Okay. Sorry. I'm not sure what happened earlier. It dropped me off, but yeah, I just wanted you to. You guys mind if I jump in real quick? I said, I got to go. I got a real quick question. Okay, um, Lisa, you had mentioned earlier about the email that somebody said you sent yesterday asking they sent you $30 last week or something, and then you emailed them yesterday asking them to send it again. Yesterday? You said, yeah. So just to let you know, I'm Miss Rachel, and mm -hmm. you sent it to me. And okay. just so everybody else knows, Hunter's mom is over on the girls stage and she's putting all the proof out so you can drop me now Lisa, no. yes i want to know truthfully um did you google the side effects of smoking crack i mean regardless of what you've done in the past where you're at right now Things are not going to get better yeah. unless you make them better. There, there's no change without change. So if it's something that you truly desire, and I hope for your children that you do, because I, you know, have been through family situations of my own with my parents. And, <laughs> you know, there will become a time where there's no going back. So yeah. I would, if I were you, I would try to take the opportunity to really make the changes, whether that's mental health whether that's rehab, whatever it is that you need to get you there and get it done. Because right. some things, once you break them to a certain point, you might as well not even be here anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> There's no coming back. So, you know, I really do truly hope for you, for your family, that you get the help, that you make the changes, that you really put the work into getting it done and getting there. Because if your kids can't make you do it, then there isn't much they can. Mm. No, you're absolutely right. So, can I talk without being dropped now? I really do want to know. Did you Google it? 